What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? What's up, Zoomers? Welcome to the first ever vlog in the car. I'm in my car. So, today, I was in need of adventure. Because, you know, the channel's called Adventure because I like to adventure. I'm an adventurer. I'm the Ed Adventures! <laughs> so, today, I was... Oh, shit, the camera is so freaking shaky. Oh, man, the roads are... Oh, nice. The scenery here is so nice. It's so beautiful. I can't show you guys because I'm, I'm. Oh shit, that's a bird. Because I'm driving, but it's very nice. I'm gonna show you in a in a bit when I when I'm there. Uh, so as you guys know, or as you guys don't know, I live in the city called Trois Rivières, which is a small town in between Montreal and Quebec City in the province of Quebec in Canada. And so, near my city, there's another city called Shawinigan, and in that city, there is a ski place, like a place where you can do ski in the winter. It's called Vallée du Parc, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go climb that place with my own two feet, and I'm gonna bring you guys with me, and we're gonna have an awesome view of the top of the mountain, uh, because I also brought my drone, so I'm going to do some uh, drone footage. God, I speak like a fucking cocaine addict or something. I swear I don't take cocaine, guys. I swear, I swear. I'm not into drugs. No to drugs, staying cool. No, what? No. Don't do drugs, staying cool. I can't even say that. Uh, so the car stopped. Hello. Hello there. So what I was saying is, don't do drugs, stay in school, kids. All right, so this is what the scenery looks like around here. It is freaking awesome. Uh, I think my camera doesn't show all the beauty that there is here. So. It's about 7.30 p.m. right now, and the sun will set at about 8.20, if I'm, if I'm correct. So we have like 50, I'd say 40 minutes to have a decent view of the mountain and of the area surrounding the mountain. So um, we will have to run up the freaking mountain, because I think it might take something like 40 minutes to get up there. So we'll, we'll be like spot on time if, um, if we do it quick. We'll be spot on time for the sunset. And that's something that is sick. If we can just get a little grasp of, of that sunset, I'm gonna be very happy, guys. But for now, let's try and get there in time because we're still 10 minutes away. Oh my God, it's so freaking bumpy here. I'm so sorry, guys. The footage is gonna be freaking ugly. I'm not too sure where to go. Guys, we're, we're here, we've arrived. That is where we're going, people. Right there, gonna try and get up that slope there. I'm gonna tell you people, I have to walk like quite the, the way to get there. Probably 40 minutes of walking to get up there because I remember going there in ski or snowboard and it took like 10 minutes to get down the slopes. So if my calculation is correct, it should take about 40 minutes to get off by foot. It doesn't seem that high from down here, but when once you're on top, it's freaking high. It's very nice. It's actually the highest mountain in my region, like near where I live. Okie dokie, it seems that the mountain in question, which is called Valitzbach, is a private establishment, so it is therefore closed. I'm kind of stupid to have come all the way here without thinking about that. But yeah, it's pretty obvious there are signs and panels saying Défense de Passé, which means don't cross here, don't come here. And so there's also surveillance cameras and stuff, so I prefer not risking uh, to get a ticket or something, because yeah. It's uh, illegal trespassing. But I'm gonna try and find another mountain for you guys. It's such a shame that <sighs> that place is closed. Closed up for like the spring, the summer and stuff because I would like to go out there, man. I would really like to go out there. And it's, it's so stupid, like, it would be much more useful if you could pay a fee of $10 or something and be able to get out there because right now it's just useless. It's just there. I think it's still a vlog with great scenery. Like, look at that, man, look at that view. Look at that scenery, Canada, man. Welcome to Canada. Look how beautiful this is. It's almost like, I was gonna say a Nordic country. Well, we are a Nordic country and it's beautiful, man. Beautiful. So peaceful with all the birds and stuff. So calm. Man, my shoes are gonna be fucked after this. I'm pretty. Look, there's like tiny berries here. Tiny berries. On the tree. But I, I'm not sure I should eat those. I think they're like poisonous to you or something. Oh shit, these berries. Beautiful, red, big, not good for humans. Don't eat these.
learn to appreciate where you live and your country before visiting the other countries. That's a saying I've heard a lot and it's quite true. Like I live in Canada and personally, I think that it's one of the most beautiful countries in the world. It's so wide, there's so much nature, there's so much forest stuff. I'm gonna be reckless, guys. Oh, there's a, there's a beaver, there's a beaver, there's, there's a beaver, it's a beaver, look at that, it's a beaver. Wow, oh, it's a freaking beaver. It's a beaver, guys. It's far away, so you, the, the resolution of my camera is not that good, but it's a freaking beaver. Uh, it's made by beavers. Yeah, I think so. I literally stopped filming two seconds ago and the beaver just splashed into the water. Man, I would have liked to see that on camera. Fuck. It's gone now. But whatever. Like I said, I'm gonna be reckless. Let's go. Don't do this at home, kids. What I'm gonna do is pretty dangerous and that beaver thing doesn't seem very stable at all, so wish me luck. If I fall in the lake, it's gonna do for a great video. Oh shit, my feet are so wet. <laughs> Guys, I made it. I crossed that shit. Dude, oh man, my feet are so wet. Disgusting. But whatever, look at that lake. It's crazy beautiful. Water is green though, it's disgusting. Some people say Jesus walked on water. Well, Eden did it as well. <laughs> so. Might as well call me Jesus from now on. <laughs> Comprehensive and objective review of this adventure. If I could sum it up in, in three words, I'd say original, nearby, mud. Dad, they're full of mud. Fuck. We should get out of confinement and blah, blah, blah. Ah, shit, just jumped that shit there. This is a representation of what just happened while I was filming. This is Ed on the other side of the ravine and I was just walking and then I saw the ravine and I was like oh at the last moment and see that wheat? Let's go grab one. Wheat. All right, so I'll give that to my bro as a present. He probably won't understand, but he'll understand once he watches this vlog, if he does. <laughs> I'm like Trico. You guys have played Pokemon? Trico, 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 Trico. That's a good parking. What's up, Gros Carlis Dele? <laughs> Bonne fight? <laughs> How's it going, bro? Bien. Bien? Uh, uh, good. Good. What's up? Right yeah, there. I'm 12. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you describe it? 16. 16, and in three words, how would you describe it? An ethereal paradigm of flavors. Nice. <laughs> That's my brother, Noah. That's all I wanted to say, he's in the vlog now. Noah, who's your favorite Pokemon? Blur. Blur. What's your favorite Pokemon type? I need to ask you. Blur. I just took that branch, and I'm gonna give it to you now. So it's your present from the vlog. 